Troy Ounce is a gold that came out of Homestake Mine up at Mead. Uh, the longest operating gold mine in the uh, world. 125 years of uh, producing gold. They just closed the mine in 2002. It got started in 1877 in March when an investor from uh, San Francisco purchased two of the richest claims in a, in lead there from the Manuel brothers for about $135,000. In 1877, $135,000 is like getting a million dollars. And he started an underground uh, mining operation that he called the Homestake. And that uh, rich uh, investor from San Francisco, his name was George Hurst. His son had no interest in mining, so to keep him occupied and busy and out of trouble, he bought his son a newspaper called the San Francisco Chronicle. His son did quite well as a publisher, otherwise known as William Randolph Hearst. So most of the gold you see at the Hearst Castle there. California was, came out of the whole state gold mine. Got some nice homes here. Up at sea, wild turkeys in this area. I think one of those uh, homes they, they feed the turkeys we always see. Hanging around that place. But it's uh, mid afternoon, it's kind of hot, so. Most of the animals are actually bedded down in the shade somewhere. Not too active when it's uh, hot like this in the afternoon. Best time to see the animals are early morning and, and uh, late in the afternoon when it cools down. Nice places back here too. Now there's a rich uh, rancher here, kind of a hobby rancher we call him. Okay, a little over the speed limit. But. Yeah. <laughs> I ran on Facebook one time. That guy was uh, showed up late at the office. His excuse was that he got behind somebody who was only doing the speed limit. That's a pretty valid excuse. I know. <laughs> well, he's only doing the speed limit. Why doesn't he get out of the way? <laughs> oh, goodness. This road will lead us to the Needles Highway. <coughs> Sylvan Lake. <coughs> and for our Texas folks, um, so you feel at home, over in the corner over there on the left, <coughs> we got some Texas Longhorns. I was hoping they would be a little closer to the road. Sorry about that. But they got some they got some really nice longhorns. <coughs> That's on my bucket list anyway. I just uh, I want to go to Fort Worth and watch them run the longhorns. Even though I understand it's pretty tame. They, yeah, they don't really run them, they just walk them. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and the Longhorns, I understand, they've done so much, they know where they're going, you know, so they just, uh, 
it's kind of like milk cows, you know, when it's time to milk, they know what stall to go into. And they just aspen trees there. Here's a trivia question for you. What's the largest plant in the world? Sequoia. Sequoia? No, it's not. What's the question? What's the largest plant in the world? No. Redwood tree? Uh, it's a good guess. I would have guessed redwood and Eric uh, guessed the sequoia. Uh, neither one is correct. Even the banyan tree is a huge, but that's not it either. We're actually looking at a bunch of them right now. The aspen tree. And you're going, no, the aspen tree is not near as big as a sequoia or a redwood. Well, actually, you never see aspen tree all by themselves, do you? They're in a grove. And that's because they're connected by the root have a mother root system and each aspen tree sends out runners and from which other trees will grow and somewhere in yeah, Utah yeah, yeah. in the Rockies there's a whole mountainside of huge aspen trees and very you know old aspen trees and they're all connected to the same root system and uh, you can tell that they're on the same root system they, uh, in the spring they'll leaf out at the same time every single one that's on the same root system. If it's a different uh, root system or tree growth, uh, they may be different. That'd be a few days later or earlier or something. They also drop, the, change the color of the leaves at the same time, and drop their leaves at the same time. And uh, they estimated this one grove of uh, very large uh, aspen trees in Utah. And I used to know the name of the mountain. Uh, is uh, several hundred uh, thousand tons they estimate the weight, making it the largest plant in the world. That's that I never knew. Yeah. The aspen tree. As I said, I enjoy trivia, and all this trivia, 50 cents won't even get me a cup of coffee at, at Starbucks, but well, I can get 10 cups of coffee of all drug. No. Five cent cups of coffee. Actually, I can get a free cup of coffee of all drug as a veteran and a donut. Just tell them you want your veteran donut, and they'll give you a, an unfrosted uh, cake donut. And uh, just help yourself to a cup of coffee at the coffee urn. I have a box there you can throw a nickel in. I usually throw a quarter in, you know, just to and have a couple cups of coffee. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, we're getting up here. The Needles Highway is my favorite road in the Black Hills, by far. As far as scenery, scenic, trauma. So you seen wildlife? I've seen wildlife up there, yeah, uh, every once in a while. Uh, it's more like mule deer or uh, 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 mountain goats. 
at uh, this time of day and this many tourists, I'm not sure we're going to see much for a little while. But too much traffic kind of scares them away. And then the heat. Yeah, so. yeah, if you want to look for a wild, wildlife on these roads, <clears throat> you really got to get up at dawn and take off. And uh, in the morning, early morning, you they're, they're moving around. Again, we got the sticker here that lets us go in. This place is very popular, as you can tell. And this is not even a weekend. Usually it's like this on the weekends, because even the locals get out. Everybody still doing good? Yeah. What's everybody doing? Fishing or swimming or what? Uh, there's some swimming, there's uh, hiking, and there's uh, yeah, fishing, and there's uh, they rent canoes and uh, paddle boards, but a lot of hiking. Yes, uh, Saturday they were having weddings here. Don't come from above us. Yeah. A lot of rock climbing. Right? Yes, it's very popular rock climbing. Uh, more so in the morning when the rocks aren't as hot. Uh, the uh, Sylvan Lake Rock Climbing School that uses this mountain here on the left to teach people how to safely climb rocks, which I consider to be an oxymoron. <laughs> and safely climb rocks that doesn't go together. A lot of spruce trees up here, the Black Hill spruce tree. Is uh, only found was only found here in the Black Hills. It's a relative of the uh, yellow spruce, I think, and uh, it's found nowhere else in the world. We have what I call the uh, Galapagos Island effect here in the Black Hills. Galapagos Islands, you might remember, is a group of small islands, uh, a couple hundred miles off the coast of Ecuador in the South Pacific, and there's animals and plants and insects that have grown. Uh, and evolved differently for millions of years from uh, the uh, you know the continents separation from because of the sea and here we are separated by a sea of prairie and have been for millions of years so we too have animals plants and insects that could not be found anywhere else the largest animal was the Audubon sheep the Audubon sheep was a darker larger uh, sheep, a bighorn sheep uh, relative, and uh, unfortunately they hunted it to extinction by 1920. So we no longer have that beautiful sheep. There is, um, in some places, there are there are mounts, yeah, taxidermic mounts, so we know what they look like. And the black hill spruce was uh, also one of those. Oh, uh, Neo. Yeah. Hey, Neo, everyone. Yep. I'm going to be coming back this way. I'm just going to show you the most dramatic portion of the Needles Highway. Then we're going to come back this way and we're going to swing around the uh, uh, by the uh, Sylvan Lake. And uh, they have some restrooms there. So if uh, people want to jump out, flush of all restrooms. Let's see if we can't get through the tunnel. There is no not rest for on this one. And we're going to stop back here also and uh, take pictures. But I want to get through the tunnel first. Oh. It's a perfect picture taking right here. I know it. Right, that spot right there, yeah. 
Well, you gotta get in the shadow, though, yep. Yeah. Um, uh, Eric, think you can bring that mirror in? You know, it must be a narrow tunnel because I had to bring in both mirrors, so uh, that kind of tells you something. The needle's eye tunnel. I, uh, you have done this before, right? <laughs> uh, do I have to answer that? Uh -huh. Steady as she goes. Yeah. Oh, okay, now we don't see Mount Rushmore. Yeah, we'll probably have a car come up and, and then it has to back up. Oh, look at you got a mountain goat. Wow. Mountain goat on your right. Mountain goat? Yeah. You want, mountain goat wants to come in and uh, lick some water off the sides. And look at the baby. Oh, goodness sake. Yeah, just to the right there. Yeah. Come on. Got to move you out of the way. Yeah. Woo. Okay. I'm going to park right here, and those that want to jump out and get a picture of those mountain boats can do that. Through the trees on the left is a formation known as the Cathedral Spires. Formation. Some of them look like faces, like Indian faces or uh, reptiles or animals. Kind of like cloud reading, yeah. cloud watching. Skylight. So, so so many of them look like needles upside down. Hence the term the needles highway. You know, it's first built with taxpayers' money. A lot of people in South Dakota said the needless highway. <laughs> you know, why do we waste our time? You know, nobody's going to go on that road. Yeah, look at it now. <laughs> and uh, and it was also called the road that could not be built. Uh, Peter Norbeck was our governor in 1920, and he wanted a road built through the needles. Every state engineer that he talked to said, can't be done. Impossible, governor. No way can you put a road through the needles. Then he talked to another state um, engineer by the name of Scoville Johnson. And Scoville Johnson said, governor, if you can give me enough dynamite, I'll build that road. And uh, two years later, the road was built. That third tunnel we went through on Iron Mountain Road was called the Scoville Johnson Tunnel in honor of his uh, 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 achievement of uh, engineering and building the Needles Highway. Go ahead and go, guys. It's, it's kind of...
I am Neo Hot right here. Right here. Neo Hot right here. I am Neo right here.